morning everybody it's dr rick dropping in on you hope everybody is getting that week off in uh we getting off to a great start for me uh, i'm headed to the gym uh the time i'm shooting this is a little slightly after seven uh, i'm gonna go ahead and knock it out get back get some things done Before I get started, I want to point you to the description box. There is an opportunity to get our course, Crushing Limited Beliefs, at an extremely discounted rate. Uh, also, there's a couple of opportunities to work with me and get admission, free admission, into uh, Ascension 22, which is the live event I told you guys I'm returning to my first love, which is being on the stage and doing live transformational events. Uh, this isn't a motivational speech. This is a transformational event. This is an eight-hour event. Uh, we're going hard in the paint. This is about putting it in and experience, putting in the work and experiencing change in one of the shortest amounts of time possible. And you're going to see it live. You're going to see it happen for other people in real time. You're going to have it happen with you. Um, we are now in pre-registration, but there is an opportunity in the box to literally take advantage of working with me in a one-on-one -on -one capacity prior to it and getting free admission. This is your chance to uh, take advantage of that. It's in there. Um, rapid change, uh, but also there's an opportunity to work with me in my bronze package. Uh, whatever happens, take advantage of it uh, because I am scaling back the work I'm doing. Please be aware that we're no longer offering payment, pay payment plans. They don't work out well um, at all, and it's not beneficial to the company. Um, if we do work out a payment plan or anything, it will definitely not be at the price that, that it's offered. Uh, know that, but also know that we do offer afterpay, which allows you to break down payments in installments. Uh, so you can uh, pay with your card and pay over the course of four installments. With that being said, take advantage of the opportunity. Now let's talk about something. I operate in a world uh, where I deal with human performance. Uh, human performance on the low end, which is people who are struggling with real serious emotional, psychological um, issues, depression, trauma, uh, a, a bunch of other things, uh, and helping them deal with that, working with them on that, and on the high end, human performance, where people are simply looking to do the best they can in life and conquering whatever things that are standing in their way. And what I can tell you is the most common frustration I encounter are people who have the capacity, it's in front of them, but they won't move. They won't take action. They, look, if you're not where you wanna be, if you're not where your heart yearns to be, if you're not happy on your job, if you're not happy in your relationships, if you're not happy with your finances, it's because you have not taken the proper action to do it. And the proper action, when I, especially when I talk about uh, relationships, people automatically think if you're not happy in your relationships, you need to leave the relationship. That's the problem with a bunch of people is the idea of having something different means, means running from what you already have. If you have something good, it is just not what you feel it should be. Work on it and make it good. Because what I can tell you is you're not gonna go out there and find relational utopia, where you walk in and the person is everything you thought they should be. And they think you're everything that they thought you, uh, their, their, their mate should be. And you guys go into relational bliss for the rest of your life. That's not how life works. Everything worth having requires a certain amount of energy, effort, and commitment to get, and the same or more energy and commitment and effort to keep. It's simply how the universe is designed by God to work. And so, what am I saying? If, you, if you're not happy with your finances, there's no magic potion for that. There are no get rich 
quick schemes. You can try the lottery and you are gonna be, oh my God, so many millions of, to one chance of winning. And what we find is even when most people win it, they can't keep it. Why? Because the process of getting it actually prepares you to have it and sustain it. It's not what you get, it's what you keep. And if you don't develop the capacity to be able to get it and keep it, you will lose it and people will exploit you for it and all the other things that come along with it. There's a mental preparation that takes place as you transform and change into what you need to be in order to have something, including money. Your mindset is changing for you to get it. Your mindset is changing for you to be able to create more abundance in any area, whether it's happiness, whether it's money, whether it's relational bliss. You are developing the capacity not only to create it, but sustain it. And the problem is people don't move. It's, you know, it's excuses. Uh, I, uh, I'm busy right now. The kids, you know, this marriage, uh, everything you can think of, or it's procrastination. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it next week. I'm going to do it next year. It, you know, I meet people and I tell them to write down the things that they've already always wanted to do and write down how long they've been striving to do it or how long it's been on their list of to-dos. And you got people 10 years and longer with things on their list that they wanted to do and they haven't taken the first step. I'm not even tripping at the 10 years. Sometimes your dreams are so big, it may take you longer than 10 years to get there. I'm talking about the first step. You haven't taken the first step. That's a problem. Uh, I was telling one of my clients yesterday, look, uh, the thing is, get in the game. There is no perfect entry into the game. Get in the game. That's what you need to do is get in the game. And most of the time, people are just simply not getting in the game, not taking a chance. And let me tell you something, life doesn't reward you uh, for saying you're going after something that there's no skin in the game. You you want everything for free. You want everybody to accommodate what you desire and what you want, but you aren't uh, putting any skin in the game. You know, one of the things that my team tucked on my uh, coattail about was putting more skin in the game than the people who were working with me. And I had to really and truly learn how to do better in that area. I'm setting up and I'm actually putting more into them than they're putting in themselves, giving them all kind of breaks and doing that. And they're setting up and they're just, you know, moving along you got to want it bad enough. How bad do you want it is the question. I hear you talking, but how badly do you want it? And that's going to determine how hard you go for it. And if you're not going to go hard, you might as well stay at home. You might as well just chill. You might as well just accept what you got and let life throw punches at you and you roll with it or you just get knocked down and you just get up and go get knocked down again and, and don't get anything for it. Because here's the thing, no matter how hard you try to avoid uh, getting knocked down in life, you're going to get hit. I don't care how safe you play it, you're going to get hit. I don't care how safe you play it, you're going to get hit. And that's the thing that you have to be prepared for. That's the thing that you have to uh, decide. You know, am I going to get something for my trouble? Because I'm going to experience some trouble. I'm going to experience frustration, delay, heartache, loss. Uh, I'm going to get banged up a little bit. Uh, I can do it while I can let this happen while hiding in the corner of what I perceive to be comfort or I can get it while I'm going after the things that mean something to me and matter to me the most. And, and I can get the reward of being in the battle and sustaining my effort and energy in the battle. Or I could just simply go through life, get banged up and leave nothing behind of any real true significance. I can literally leave this life and take every piece of potential that God gave me to be great to the grave with me. That is a possibility. You can literally leave this life 
and have not accomplished a fraction of what you were designed to accomplish because you didn't put in the effort. You decided to operate your life on default. Default is average. Default is just existing. Default is survival. If you want to truly live at the level of your potential, you have to activate it. You have to you have to access it, activate it, and actualize it. You have to uh, locate it. You have to turn it on, and you have to put it to work. It's that simple. This isn't about ease. It's about reward. Stop looking for ease. Stop searching for comfort and search for opportunity. When the opportunity presents itself, seize it. Act like it's precious. Appreciate it. Take it. Use it. That's the thing that we are going to have to do better at in general. But if you're talking about doing something great in your life, it's time to stop procrastinating. It's time to stop making excuses. And it's time to get into the game, period. Make it happen. On that note, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. Like I said, if you want to work with me, the opportunity is in the box. If you want to deal with some limiting beliefs or learning how to change your thinking, because if you don't change your thinking, you will never change your life. If you want to learn how to change your thinking, you want to learn how to confront limiting beliefs. If you want to learn how to take the ceiling off of possibilities in your life, you want this course, especially at the price that we're offering it. It is a steal. If you want to work with me, here's an opportunity. There are two different ways that you can work with me. Also, not only are there two different ways to work with me, either way you choose, you're going to receive free admission, whether it's virtual or whether it's actually at the live event, because it's going to be both live attendance and virtual attendance at this event. And I'm engaging everybody, the people who attend virtually and the people who attend live. We're going to solve problems. We're going to have breakthroughs. We are going to experience something. And if you work with me, if you choose to work with me in any capacity before then, you're going to receive free admission to the event. Um, but you can pre-register for the event if you uh, uh, want to through the, through, throughout the remainder of this month. Uh, we're going to continue. We're going to continue the pre-registration pre pricing, uh, and then we're going to go up on it in November. Uh, but get ready. This is going to be something special. We're going to close out the year with a bang. We're going to close out the year and make sure we go off into 2023 full momentum. Everything moving. We are not going to sit back and just chill and wait for 2023 and do some type of New Year's resolution that we only stick with for a couple of months. No, we're building a life and we're doing it day in and day out. That's my challenge. On that note, I'm out of here.